If you're familiar with these tools, Excel Deploy is a deployment automation tool from ZB Labs. Um, and Puppet is from Puppet Labs and is commonly used for, for infra infrastructure provisioning and configuration. Um, so in terms of how this Puppet integration is works, and let's dive right in and take a look at that. Uh, I have my uh, normal Excel deploy notion of, of packages over here. So I actually have a Puppet application I've called in this case just to, to make the labeling nice and clear. In here I have some applications, uh, some packages. And these packages then contain Puppet manifests that we're going to deploy. So for example, I'm going to install Tomcat. And I'm also going to have this open Tomcat manifest, which is going to go ahead and open some firewall ports so we're actually able to interact with the Tomcat that we're going to deploy. Um, I have my environments on the right-hand side. And today I'm going to use the Puppet environment I have here for the purposes of this video. I'm actually not going to deploy this Puppet here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this web app guy down here. So if I open up web app 1.0, this is actually a, a composite package, so a package of other packages. Um, one of those packages is my Puppet 1.0, which we just looked at. And also I have my Pet Clinic web application. So really what I want to do is I want to do my provisioning, and I also want to deploy my application in, in one seamless movement. So we'll pull this guy into here. Now, if you're familiar with Excel Deploy, you'll know I could hit next, next, go through, and we could have this deployment go up and running. I'm going to slow that down so we can see what's happening here. So I can actually map things over into my environment. So if I say map my install Tomcat task, that's going to go here. That's going to run straight onto the, uh, the server that we have, and it's going to run that install. If I take, say, this open Tomcat, which is the, uh, the manifest that's going to run against the firewall, so IP tables in my case, I have that step to run this guy here. And this is using parameters as well. If you're familiar with placeholders in Excel Deploy, here we have a placeholder that's going to determine the port that Tomcat's going to listen on and that we're going to open up with the firewall. Also, I want to make sure I'm going to deploy that web application too. If I do this, I get a lot more steps. There's a lot of steps in terms of getting the, the WAR file deployed into Tomcat. But notice that these steps are all going to run after we've done the provisioning, exactly as we would expect. So let's go ahead and uh, start to get this running. Just before I do that, there's a couple of things I would like to do. I'm going to put some pauses in here so we can see what's happening at these different steps. So just two pauses in here. And also, I'm just going to go over to that host, port 8080. Try and refresh this a couple of times. We can see we can't get to it. There's nothing there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run my uh, install Tomcat, and then this will pause. And this is using the standard over there functionality that we, uh, that we have with an Excel deploy, so using SSH, etc. So that Tomcat install ran pretty quick. I have my environment prepped. It has all the prereqs in. So that's pretty good. So if we go over here, we have Tomcat installed and running, but still nothing's happening, right? Because the firewall is still closed. If I uh, hit continue, we're then going to move on to the, uh, the firewall step. And let's just take a look at the output that we have here. So the uh, manifest we're going to run, we have internal to uh, into the Excel deploy repository. That's going to take care of pushing that guy out there. Using Puppet Apply to get this guy executed, we can start to see this running. Here we can see we actually have the, uh, the firewall rule for allow Tomcat here is run. So that's great. So we should now be able to refresh this guy. OK, and now we see we just get a blank page, but we don't get any errors, no connection errors. So my Tomcat's up and running. That's fantastic. I could then move this on now. Uh, we can go ahead and we can move on to my application deployment. Um, so this is if you're, if we imagine that if we're using Excel deploy with an existing installed Tomcat, then these are the steps that we would go through. Stopping the Tomcat, getting the WAR file configuration in there, copying that file across, um, getting things started back up again, etc. And of course, for all of these steps, we have our, our different outputs. We can see what's going on um, and still utilizing the same SSH mechanisms no agents um, to go out and connect these various different hosts. So we're just getting my, uh, my Tomcat started up here. It takes a couple of seconds to run, um, interacting over the internet, in this case, out to a host in EC2. We can see we have this run. So if I go here, I can then pull up my pet clinic. And now we can see I have my application is deployed into here. And I can go around, look at things like my veterinarians, etc. So just to summarize, um, in terms of integrating Excel Deploy with Puppet, it's really easy. Um, this does rely on our Puppet plugin. 
which is available from our plugin repository. Um, pull things in together and then start to build up these packages that we could use to go and deploy out multiple different things and, and really do that whole end-to-end -end, um, deployment piece. Thank you for watching.